hat. Link is totally clueless. He's like the most oblivious idiot in the world. Stretch. Okay. Sort of. Okay, that's better. So you say the bridge to the east has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is to cross the bridge to the west. <clears throat> but that asshole's all. It's that asshole again. You see what that means. You'll have to deal with that thing. Links like Ben there did that, lady. It's not fucking easy. Th thank you so much for this. If you don't mind me asking, what's your name? JM? I will never in my life forget your kindness. Little lady, I think you'd best save your things until we s we're safe in Kakariko. I, s I keep thinking she's Impa. This swordsman of ours has great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild, like a feral beast. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. We need a beast right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakariko safely... We'll thank him then, okay? <laughs> Link, the... Just, yeah, run with it. Just run with that, Link. Are you ready to roll, Jam? You gotta protect these young ones from the winner, Kakariko. Shield. Cool. Aren't you so fucking... Okay. It's your turn, honey. We're counting on you. Yeah. Thanks. Can I just use my bow and just shoot him off the fucking bridge? Nope. Such drama. I know, seriously. All the fucking drama. What the fuck? I moved! Ah! Can I just, again, can I just my bow? Nope, guess not. What's this guy's problem? Looks like he went and got a nice pair of matching shields. <coughs> He's got his sides protected, but his front's completely open. He's gonna use a projectile when the time is right. Wait. Oh, so we had to hit him in the front? Okay. Okay. Fuck. The caterpillar from Bugs Life. I didn't think of that, but okay, now it's gonna stuck in my head for like the rest of time. the 
shot. Bye bye. Careening off the rails. <coughs> bye bye. The gate keys. Nice. Thank God for that ferret we had. Nice, honey. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I'm thinking she's more like a, uh, like a, not a, like a southwestern accent kind of thing. Like a mix. I don't know why. How you enjoying the game so far? Oh, I've played before, Mike. I love this game. It's one of my favorites. It's just like, it's been years since I've done it, so it's just forgetful. There's always one character who will have cleavage in Zelda. And that's why I think, like I said, I think that's Impa. Oh shit. Uh, items. Come on, Link. Fucking turn your horse around. Go, 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 go. Link. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. So much cleavage. Okay, hop off the horse. Once you play Breath of the Wild, these games, while amazing games, are gonna let you a bit more. More shallow confines. Um, I don't know. I don't. Personally, I don't think so. Like, in all honesty, I kind of like that Zelda's games have always been what they have been. Breath of the Wild is probably going to be, like, for me, a whole separate type of game. Though I miss actually fishing, that's not Breath of the Wild. Yeah, from what I heard, fishing is, like, a lot different. Gotcha, you little fuck. Yeah, exactly. Like each each Zelda game, while the same, is different in its own right. So as long as like oh shit, shit, fuck. As long as the game is fun, I really won't care how it is. Keep going, you guys. Is it like the first game? I haven't played the first one. I just know it's a lot different than Ocarina and all these ones. Get going, get going. Hey you, hey asshole. I still gotta get the first one. Like, I know um, a store near my, where I live. You haven't even beaten yet? Yeah, like, I know a store near where I live that sells it. I just need to go out and get, like, the console to play it on and everything. It would be fucking awesome to play the original Zelda's. 
Because I do remember a friend uh, when I was, like, young playing the originals, and they were so cool to watch. I had no fucking clue what was going on, but it was still cool. Come on, get the fuck back over. Get back on the path, Impa. I'm assuming you're Impa. Open the gates. Yeah, I know. Link, hop off the fucking horse. Thank you. Let's open it. Get going. We did it. We made it to Kakariko. He has passed through the worst of it. As long as he rests, he should recover in due time. Do you know the fate of his mother? Her welfares consume him. He has been mumbling deliriously about her almost constantly. I can see the knowledge grieves you. It must be an awful memory. I'll stay with him until he's better, no matter how long it takes. <clears throat> Is that so? Thank you, Colin. I don't know why, but I picture him with a John Redcorn kind of voice from King of the Hill. That bob cut, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> you can tell this from the early 2000s with the fucking bob cut. Hey, JM, about Ilya. Is it true what they said about her? Yes, she has lost her memory, Colin. And regaining it will be no simple task. But it will be all right, child. You will just give her some time. I'm certain Ilya will find her heart again. Talk about her memory, dude. Not her heart. So, Colin, I'd like to ask you to stay in this village until then. It is our turn to show the courage that you have already displayed. Yeah. Dude took a fucking, like, warthog to the face. And back to that, like, display of cleavage. Nice to see there's still hope here. And it's always good to see happy results repay your efforts. Those skills of yours, any chance you're of the mind? to put them to use for Haru. What hope there is in our kingdom is frail and dying. But there's still a group trying to do what it can. And, and I'm a member of that group. God damn it, Mike. <laughs> Call me Telma. I must stay... I may just stay here a bit longer. I'm still worried about Ilya. And well, never mind about the rest. She wants to bone the shaman, doesn't she? Whoa! I want to see you again at my bar, you hear me? The bar is actually kind of a safe house for my friends. There's a passageway that leads to the castle from there as well. If you ever need it, then stop by. I'll be waiting for you, honey. Link, whatever you do, do not get involved with her. She wants that shaman. She, yeah, she's gonna bone the shaman. You know that she's gonna go off and just, you know, channel some spirits. If you know what I mean. Whoa! Floaty spirit again. This music reminds me of Assassin's Creed, and I love it. Did you go, lady? Oh, shit. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. 
giant woman. She reminds me of Shiva from Final Fantasy. Like in her design. <clears throat> Lady, you're making me seem crazy. I'm chasing after a floating spirit. Hit the chi I'm not in the chicken, Mike. I know what happens if I hit the chicken. I am not. I don't have a death wish. Stare at that link booty. All about that link booty. Cause you know, she couldn't just talk to you from like the distance. I am deeply grateful to you for aiding my son in his time of need. You were right to bring him here. Kakariko Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband in life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my son found his salvation in this place. That which I have promised you is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments, specifically the chosen hero, garments that house the abilities of the Zora. So we're just gonna grave rob your husband now. Cool. Glad you're okay with it, lady. I love the Zora tunics. They're always so cool. Now at last I can join the king in slumber. And yet my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of our people. And tell him his mother loves him without end. Tell him. Tell him, damn it. Like, if you don't tell him, she's gonna take the fucking armor away. Just do the thing. Well, it's a good thing you found all that your friends and picked up that nifty Zora armor. But aren't you forgetting something kind of important? That last few shadow. Remember what Pharaon the Light Spirit said. He said you would need the few shadow to defeat the Dark Overlord Zant and save the world. So even if you go back now with all those people you saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. So let's go get it. We need to go to the temple at the lake bed at Lake Hylia. Yeah, thanks, uh... So awesome. I love this armor, it's so cool. I like how this one actually is like specifically different. Whereas in Ocarina of Time it's just blue it's just a blue tunic.